Hello class, isn't it good to live in the modern world where teachers are computers and all the information you ever need is at your fingertips? This truly is a time of progress. The internet has revolutionized the way we process information and it seems like every day technological devices get smaller and the storage space gets bigger. One would think such changes would have brought about a new age. Yet in many areas of life, things don't seem to have changed all that much over the years, and transportation is an example of this. The roads are still lined with cars, the sky is still speckled with airplanes. The science fiction stories of decades past foresaw flying cars and teleporters. The future. Still looks fake. Yes, unfortunately, the 21st century has had to settle for the underwhelming innovation of the Segway. However, and the fantasy of futuristic transportation is very much alive right now. In 2013, Elon Musk unveiled an amazing concept called the Hyperloop. While it's not quite as mind-shattering as a teleporter, or as fun as a personal jetpack, the Hyperloop seems like it could revolutionize travel. The Hyperloop consists of two massive tubes stretching between San Francisco and Los Angeles. Pods carrying passengers would travel through the tubes at speeds topping 700 miles per hour. Imagine the tubes people in the Jetsons used to move around buildings, but on a much bigger scale. I bet I know where he is. Just as I thought, at the water cooler again. <laughs> and now, fellow employees, I would like to read you my latest company bulletin. It's titled, 101 Ways to Goof Off at the Office and Still Collect Overtime. <laughs> Jetson, what are you doing? Goof it off, sir! <laughs> Report to my office. Hey, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, boy. The Bush was sounded mad. <laughs> you call, sir? <laughs> A trip that would take roughly six hours by car today is projected to take 35 minutes on the Hyperloop. The idea of transcending time and space at first glance seems remarkably similar to railroad hype in the 19th century, when some observers spoke of railroads just as fantastically as others are swooning over Hyperloop today. Descriptions of the first passengers on the transcontinental railroad sound eerily like descriptions of a trip on a Hyperloop. Although Elon Musk thought of this idea, his company SpaceX is not developing a Hyperloop of its own. It remains unclear whether commercial Hyperloop systems will ever be widely adopted, but as the global population swells and the environment declines, better transportation systems will become essential. Heck, but what do I know? The future lies not with me, but with you. So what do you think? Is the Hyperloop the transportation of the future? That's all, folks.